Hi everyone, my name is Sai Sneha Kilahi and I'm from Bennett University. Today I'm here to explain you about our project which is multi-processing for image hashing. So now, the image hashing is the process of examining the content of an image and it constructs a hash value that uniquely identifies an input image based on the content of the image. So now, the major problem is that image hashing takes too much time to process and calculate hash values. It also has the worst case scenario and also real-time applications are very slow. So now, the main objective of a project is to speed up the hashing process and make applications faster and also to distribute data processing workload to multi-processing and also to improve the worst case complexity. So now let us know what is multi-processing actually means. As we know that instead of using just a single core of a processors to process the data, we use all the cores. Each processor independently checks on the subnet of the data assigned to it until the entire data set has been processed. The major advantage of the multiprocessing is that it makes applications faster. So in this video, we will see an example of image hashing and how multiprocessing is used to reduce the processing time. In image hashing, we examine the contents of an image and construct the hash values. These hash values are later used for searching similar images based on the input. Using a single core makes the hash value process slower. To improve the speed and distribute data processing workload, multiprocessing is deployed. So before mul deploying multiprocessing, first we need to convert the input images into grayscale and then image is resized to the fixed dimensions. Now the difference in adjacent pixels are calculated leveraging multiprocessing and hash value is built. The tools which we used in our project are OpenCV, open source library, NumPy, hashing, multiprocessing and Python. If we use 20 cores, will the speed be 20x? No, it's because we are performing a lot of I.O. operations and multiprocessing as some overhead function calls both the Python level and OS level. So now, there are some golden rules when working with the large data set that are first parallel parallelize across your system bus first. And if the performance is not sufficient, then only start parallelizing across multiple machines, including Hadoop, MapReduce, etc. So now let us see the working of our code. Here we use wget command to get our data set. This is the data set which we use, which consists of 9000 images. So now, before we utilize the multiprocessing with CV to speed up our data processing, let us first implement a set of help helper utilities to use to facilitate multiprocessing. So now, here we imported some packages. Here, we are, re we are converting the image into grayscale and then resizing the input image and also adding the column so that we can compute the horizontal gradient. Here we are converting the image to hash and converting the hash to numpy64 bit float and then back to python built in int. This hash ensures that hashes are presented, represented constantly throughout the hashing. So now in order to leverage multiprocessing we need to chunk our data set into n equal size chunks. So here we listed the n size chunks and using the current n size chunks to call the function. So now we are moving forward for the multiprocessing implementation. First we displayed the process ID for debugging and then and then initializing the hashes and then we loop over the image paths, then load input, compute the hash and then convert it. 
Here we are serializing the hashes directly to disk using the supplied output path. So now determining the total here we are determining the total number of concurrent processes we will be launching while assigning each processing process an ID number. By default, we will use all CPUs on our system. Here, we will initialize the playloads and also a loop over our chain images path. Inside the loop, we specify the intermediate output file path while naming it carefully with the process ID in the file name. So now, here we need to construct and launch the processing pool and then close the pool and wait for all the process to finish. Here, now, we are initializing the hash directory to hold our com combined hashes which we will populate from each of the intermediate files. In the last, we will serialize the hashes directory to disk. Here, we are tested to see how long does it take does it take to process the data set by using a single processor and also here we, t we also use the multiprocessor here you can see the difference that the multiprocessor is a uh, processing is uh, 12 times faster than the single processor so it is a bit faster than the single processor at last we conclude that multiprocessing comes great aid for image search engines using hash techniques. Using multiprocessing, the worst case complexity is now all logging. Opt for big data tools in the absence of desired throughput speed only. These are the some of the references which we use for our project. Thank you, have a great day.